Hi, I'm Stu, and if you watch my videos before, you'll know that I'm a delivery rider in my hometown of Donington in the UK for the biggest UK delivery apps, which is Just Eat, Uber Eats, and Deliveroo. And one of the main questions I get asked on a daily basis is, how many miles do you do in a day? And my answer to that is usually lots of miles, because I don't really know. But today, we're gonna to find out. So as you can see in the clock behind me, it's just after seven o'clock in the morning. The weather out there is not the best, but I am gonna be doing a full day, mainly because over the last couple of weeks, I've had problems with my bike. I've had a, a little bit of an accident, uh, which means I've not been earning the money I need for my big adventure going backpacking in a few weeks time. So my apps have been turned on. I am ready to go. Outside is my bike and bag. And just like Batman, I'm ready for the signal to kick off and give me my first delivery. Although Batman doesn't do deliveries. I'll be recording the mileage using the Strava app, which on a map tells you where you've been and also how far you've gone. And along the way, I'll be showing you the sights of Donington, of all four corners of it, because that's where I'll be. And I have started. I'm gonna head into town and wait for my first delivery and see how it goes for the rest of the day. It's hard to believe it's July and the middle of summer. You've got skies that are grey, it's been raining overnight and there is the prospect of rain coming through today. Which makes it even better for when I'm doing deliveries because if it's raining, people don't leave the house and they've got a tendency to order more. So this is me coming up to the centre of Donington. And as we are going through a cost of living crisis within the UK, there was a time that whenever I got deliveries, I could pick and choose on my bike which ones I wanted to do. Unfortunately, deliveries are getting fewer, which means I now have to take anything that I get. So all the short journeys that I would be doing in the past are now longer and longer and further away. So I've just received my very first order and it's about half a mile away which is going to start adding up throughout the day. Now if you saw my bike earlier on you would have realised it's an electric bike and you're probably thinking well that's going to be easier for him but if you know electric bikes the batteries don't last that long, especially all day. So I've got to be very careful how I use my battery power. And at the moment, it's off. And if you've ever ridden an electric bike with no power, it's not the easiest. When I first started doing this, there was only about two or three people on bikes doing deliveries and everybody else was in cars. Now there are so many people riding around with delivery bags on the backs and you're going to see loads of them throughout the day. And I know that every week I see someone brand new starting out on a bike. But they never last long. They realise how much pedalling is involved. Thank God I'm still fit. I've now travelled back to the centre of Donington. And as you can see on the map here, this is Donington. 
as a whole. And throughout the day, I'll be putting various points of where I am, and you'll see how far away from the center I've traveled. But at this moment in time, it is dead. It's early morning. There's nobody about. It's quiet. You can tell it's a British summer because it's raining and although my skin is waterproof this jacket isn't so I'm going to head home and get something more appropriate for this weather and hopefully it's not going to last too long and as you can see from Strava I've done over 13 miles so far and two and a half hours that's pretty low but I've been quite fortunate I've just had a lot of short deliveries but I need to get dried off I've now changed from a wet t-shirt to a dry one with a more suitable jacket and the rain has stopped such low but I have been told by the weather forecast that it's not going to be dry for long so I'm going to try and get out and do as much deliveries as much mileage as I can before it starts again it's the school summer holidays and in the centre of town the council try and do something for the kids to keep them occupied during their time off and right in front of me is what they've attempted to do is build a beach so underneath that tarpaulin is a load of sand, deck chairs fairground rides but it's not the weather It's mid-morning and it has gone quiet. Although it is midweek school holidays, it's to be expected. So I'm just riding around, checking out the ducks. The ducks look quite happy on this river, the River Skern. And two days ago, the Environment Agency came down and did a clean up of this river of about half a mile, going all the way down there towards the park. And the amount of rubbish they found while cleaning up, all by a group of guys getting in the river and clean it all up everything from shopping trolleys to well over 30 car tires unbelievable so it's now just after 11 o'clock and before the lunchtime rush kicks off I'm gonna go home have a little rest quick cup of coffee but so far, I've done over, according to Strava, 21 miles, which is not too bad. Um, and I am going to go back and charge my bio up for the bike because my legs are feeling it after using no power for a little while. And the other reason I need to go home is I have a very important job to do.
And this is Timmy. And this is the important job I've got to do. So my neighbour Sophie, and this is her house, works two days a week in the office while the rest of the time she works at home. And Timmy suffers from separation anxiety. So I've come round to give him some cuddles and let him out. And look how happy he is. Yes. And that's my break over. Timmy's a little bit more happier. I've had leftover stir fry for my lunch from last night. And I'm now heading back out into the centre of town to get my first delivery. It's the lunchtime rush. I've just completed the longest delivery of the day. You can see on the map that I'm east of the centre. It's a couple of miles out. Um, and I'm lucky enough that just around the corner there is another delivery just to be picked up going back into the centre of town. So, Strava so far is telling me I've done just over 30 miles so far. And you can tell I've got a little bit of sweat coming through. So I might just start putting the battery on the electric bike. Let's go. It's a little after three o'clock and according to Strava, I have done 41 miles, which is quite impressive on a, on a push bike. And I've done about just over 90 pounds for the day so far. Now behind me in the sky is some dark, dark clouds. And this is not a challenge to see what's the most miles I can do in one day. This is just to see how many miles on average I would do, even though I'm working longer than what I usually would. And if it does start raining heavily, I'm not doing deliveries. I'm going home until the storm passes. You did the same, wouldn't you? So for now, I'm going to carry on delivering until the heavens open and I do not want to get soaking wet. I can feel the rain starting to come down, but I've just picked up a delivery, so I am going to do this one. And it's a short one, thank God. And then I might have to head home. Five one four, please. So you can see the rain coming down. I don't know why I've got my hood down. I really, really do want to carry on working, but I do not want to get wet. This is. The second lot of clothes I've had it on today, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back home, maybe chill for an hour, and then come back out. I hate rain. I was on my way back home, and the rain stopped. There is blue skies trying to pour through, so I decided to stay out, and I got a few more orders. Now, as you can see, I am now done over 50 miles it's coming up to tea time and i am very hungry i might stay up for another half hour just in case there's any more rushes going on and i think it's time for me to go back grab some food have a decent rest but i'll be back i need to see if i can do more than 50 miles more importantly I need to make money. I'm now rested. I've had some of the wheat and everything's charged up and I'm ready to go back out. Now usually night times is not for me. But with the amount of money I've done so far, I might as well see if I can make a bit more. At the same time, let's do some more mileage. So I'm um, taking a chance that there is going to be no rain I can see blue skies 
but I can also see dark clouds. I've got a non waterproof top on, baseball cap. Let's be lucky. I have now been out for an hour and I have been doing a lot of running around trying to find jobs and it is dead. I've managed to pick up a quick order which is not too far away. I might have to sack it early. And that is the end of the night. It's starting to get dark. It did pick up. So I started getting a few more deliveries. And in total tonight, for the whole day, I've actually made 151 pounds, which is the biggest amount I've made in a couple of years in one day. No idea why. And it's not because I was doing the longer journeys, it was all short ones, which has been unusual, especially for the day that I wanted to show how many miles I would do for long journeys and they were all short. So the main point of this video was to do mileage and how much mileage I would do on an average day. Although I've never worked this late before, but I have done 69 miles, which is not too bad. I don't feel tired. You might think he had an electric bike. It has helped a little bit, but when you're trying to save power for a battery that didn't last all day, then your legs does get tired. I am now going to celebrate with a very small glass of red wine. I have no more challenges left. I only have a few weeks left before I go backpacking. And as you know, I'm off to Australia and then to the South Pacific Islands, maybe. But if you enjoyed this video, you know you've got to press that like button. If you want to subscribe, and as I said, it's not long before I start my adventure, press that subscribe button. But until next time, bye bye for now.